Welcome to our first Metropolitan Museum of Art scavenger hunt. Your objective for today is to locate evidence of linear perspective and non-linear perspective within the works of art. Good luck! For your first clue, you're looking for this pink coffin, which is included in a two-panel painting, The Betrayal of Christ and Lamentation and Entombment. Is linear perspective utilized in this painting? Why or why not? For clue number two, this is a partial scene belonging to a bigger painting by Botticelli. What is the title of this painting? What type of linear perspective was utilized? What, describe how this painting is divided. What do you see in the foreground, middle ground, and background? Pause here. Clue number four. Find this detailed ceiling in this painting. What type of linear perspective was used? Use your clues. Name of painting and title of painting. During the Renaissance, a common compositional arrangement was utilized to express the Trinity and have all eyes and objects in the painting focused on the one important figure. Pick the correct answer. Clues number six and seven are going to be found in the Picasso exhibit. So now you need to go find this special exhibit. Clue number six. You are looking for the painting titled Still Life with Mandolin and Galette. Where is the still life located in this painting? Clue number seven. You are looking for the painting with the letters E, T, R in it. Also sketch where the bottle of rum is located in this painting. Clue number eight. These two figures are centered in a painting by El Greco titled The Miracle of Christ Healing the Blind. Is there anything odd about the centered figures in comparison to the other larger fully painted figures in the foreground? What type of linear perspective is utilized? For clue number nine, find the bell tower located in the Piazza San Marco. You are looking for the full view of the piazza. What type of linear perspective is utilized? Where is the horizon line located in this painting? Pause here. Now you're going to exit the galleries and go find the Astor Courtyard. Be sure to spend some time looking around and enjoying this beautiful example of Asian architecture. Your next clue will also be found in this area in the Chinese art exhibit. Pause here. Clue number 10. Find this Chinese scroll titled Dwelling in the Mountains. Is this Western linear perspective? Why or why not? And by the way, what medium was used to create this scene? Pause here. For clue number 11, this India painting is titled The Monkey Leader Anagata Steals Ravana's Crown from His Fortress. Is this Western linear perspective? Okay, for clue number 12, you're going to be looking into the Asian Sculpture Gallery. The single window that you'll be looking down into can be found in between the paintings titled The Rama and Ravana Bloody Combat and The Rama and Lakshmana Bound by Indrajit's Serpent Arrows. Good luck. For clue number 13, you are looking at the bottom half of the Indian painting titled Rama and Ravana in Bloody Combat on the Island of Lanka. Describe why this Indian painting could not be considered an example of Western linear perspective. Pause, please. Clue number 14. Find this Japanese scroll titled Landscape with Waterfall by Nakabayashi Chikuto. Is there a horizon line in this painting? What medium was used to create the scene? Pause, please. For clue number 15, search for the entrance to the tomb. Enter and look at the hieroglyphs. The scale the Egyptians sometimes applied to figures was meant to represent what? Choose the correct answer. 
Pause here, please. For clue number 16 in King Tut's funeral exhibit, find the Egyptian painting titled Funeral Procession and Rites at Tomb of Prairie. Did the artist apply Western linear perspective to this artwork? Give one reason as to why or why. For clue 17, search for the Temple of Dender. Depending on where you are standing, could this temple be drawn in a one point or two point linear perspective? Pause here. Clue 18. As you are looking at the temple exhibit, examine the walls for early signs of graffiti. Find who signed their name next to Leonardo. Pause here. For clue number 19, you will be looking for the painting titled The Boulevard Montmartre on a Winter Morning by artist Camille Pissarro. Is the vanishing point located in the middle of this painting? If not, then where is it and what is happening to the street? From what location do you think the painter created Find this, this Matisse painting, painting from 1912 that features this partial image. Is there any evidence of linear perspective in this painting? Instead, how has the artist changed his composition? Pause here. For clue number 21, find this partial still life in Cezanne's painting from 1893 to 1894. Did Cezanne use Western linear perspective? Describe the painting. Clue 22. Find this famous Degas painting featuring ballerinas. What type of linear perspective is utilized? And what else in this painting converges to the vanishing point? For clue number 23, how does this photo of New York City depict classic one-point linear perspective? Congratulations on completing your assignment. We hope you had fun and gained an appreciation of the relationship between art and mathematics. We look forward to seeing your completed projects. Have a great day. Bye-bye.